I have used the Razer Black Widow Tournament Edition for about 9 months, and so I am very accustomed to this mechanical keyboard. This in-depth review will cover what I like and what I dislike about the Tournament Edition. Stay tuned to find out. The Razer Black Widow Tournament Edition is a 10 keyless mechanical keyboard, meaning it doesn't have the number pad on the right of the board and features responsive mechanical key switches. The compact design is why it was branded as the Tournament Edition, as typically esports players need to use their desk space efficiently, and need a keyboard that is easy to carry when travelling. This is great for those who need a compact board, but for those who need the number pad, a full size Black Widow may be a better option. Sadly, the Tournament Edition doesn't feature any USB or audio pass throughs for those who need them so you will have to make do with the ports on your computer. The keyboard features adjustable feet, which feel secure and have nice rubber padding to keep the keyboard in place, and to reduce the risk of scratching your desk. There is no wrist rest included, though you could use a third party one if you needed one. Personally, I do just fine without one. The Tournament Edition also comes with a carrying sleeve for protection, a nice touch. The Razer Black Widow Tournament Edition has a metal mounting plate on the inside, but features a plastic cover. Although a metal cover would have felt more premium, this keyboard feels very sturdy, and it's heavier than other keyboards that sport a metal cover, such as the Corsair K65. The board also has no flex when trying to twist it. The Black Widow Tournament comes with a detachable braided cable, at 2 meters in length, and with gold-plated connectors at each end. Sadly, there isn't any cable management to protect the mini-USB connection from damage, so be careful when moving things around your desk. Mine is perfectly fine after 9 months of use. You can choose between Razer Green and Razer Orange key switches. The Razer Green switches are tactile and clicky, while the Orange switches are tactile but don't feature the click when actuating the switch. My keyboard has Razer Green switches which have 50 grams actuation force and an actuation point of just 1.9mm. Razer claims each key has an 80 million key press lifespan. Here is a sound test, with and without O-rings. Overall, the keys feel great to type on and have a satisfying clicky sound to them. The Razer Black Widow Tournament Edition features 10 key rollover, which means you can press up to 10 keys simultaneously, and they will all register. This is great for moments where you need to hold multiple keys, such as strafing while jumping, and reloading or switching weapon at the same time in a first person shooter. The keyboard has function keys that allow media control, though I would have preferred to see dedicated media keys, as this would have been more convenient and easier to use. F9 allows you to record macros, and F10 activates gaming mode, which disables the Windows Start key so that it can't accidentally be pressed. The keyboard doesn't feature dedicated macro keys, though you can reprogram any of the keys to be assigned to macros using the software. The keycaps feel secure, though the larger keys such as the spacebar on the right shift key have more wobble than I would like. The keys are seated within the plastic enclosure, rather than on top. Because of this, cleaning in between the keys will be somewhat difficult, and might require you to remove the keycaps to clean effectively. This keyboard doesn't come with a keycap puller, though you can buy one very cheaply if you need one. The official software for the Black Widow Tournament Edition is Razer Synapse, which requires you to sign up with an email address. Once you've gained access to the software, you can begin creating profiles for your keyboard. From here, you can reprogram the keys and set up shortcuts. In the lighting tab, you can adjust the lighting on the Razer logo under the spacebar. You can choose between pulsate and a static option, where you can then adjust the brightness or even turn off the lighting completely. You can configure the gaming mode option, choosing to disable key combinations such as Alt Tab and the Windows Start key. You can also record macros and assign them to a key on your keyboard. Overall, the software functions as intended, though there is the initial annoyance of having to sign in with an email address. The Razer Black Widow Tournament Edition is a great 10 keyless mechanical keyboard. With the Razer Green switches, it is a great keyboard for gaming and typing. It is durable and has satisfying programmable key switches, though you may find some wobble when using them. It has 10 key rollover and some premium features such as rubberized adjustable feet and a braided cable. I would have preferred a metal cover, but this keyboard is still durable regardless. If you would like features such as RGB lighting, a metal cover, and some dedicated media or macro keys, then perhaps you should look at some other keyboards. If not, this keyboard might be suitable for you. I hope this review has helped you. If you plan on buying this keyboard and want to help support the channel, I have put Amazon links in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and share this video with those who may be interested. This has been Josh Tech Bytes. Thank you for watching.